So I was asked a while back to give a tutorial on uh, carnival leg pieces and uh, kind of lazy. I never did it. But since everybody is in Trinidad carnival mode, I figured now is the time to go ahead and, and get it out. Uh, if you know anything about how I've made my previous uh, carnival pieces, you know that I can be a little, how do you say in French, uh, le bootleg with my methods. So, first thing I need is the frame that this is made off of. I needed a, something that was stable yet slim and lightweight. For my collars, I used cardboard, but that was a bit too thick for this. So, what I did is I went to the dollar store and got these plastic chopping mats. Comes a pack of two. So... This is what it looks like. It's pretty darn durable and flexible. So I needed to now make this design. So I was looking around my room. What could I use? And in my bathroom, I found this little container right here that had my Q-tips in it. So I just like this started tracing on this chopping board started tracing this design and this is what I got right here After tracing out the frame I cut it and used it as a template to make the remaining frames as you can see it's really not that even kind of lopsided but it really doesn't matter once you add the fabric and the sparkles no one's gonna be staring the at the fabric that I used to upholster the frame was remnants from the feather collar that I made actually trash I yeah I should have thrown them away but haste not waste not I'm gonna reuse every single piece of fabric material that I can for all my projects so after adding the fabric it's time to add the bling bling oh my god my daughter's gonna kill me for saying that but um I got these so cheap on eBay for like a dollar fifty for ten yards that I really can just splurge and completely put it all the way around and through the middle of the leg pieces and I'd like to chat a little bit about the materials that I use and where I get them from. I get the majority of my materials from eBay. My fabric I get from Hancock Fabrics. Uh, I like them. They always have a sale going on. Um, if necessary, I'll go to Joann's, but I find that Hancock is cheaper than Joann's. Um, my feathers I get from eBay. I just search the color feather that I want and sort by price. Normally the cheapest feathers can be found in Asia which take about a month to arrive but it's well worth it waiting the month because um, feathers purchased in the US are like triple the price of what I pay for my Asia feathers. This trim right here and this one right here I got these on eBay for 10 yards, I paid $1.53 for 10 yards of this, and I think I paid $2 for 10 yards of this. It's really like a cheap plastic, from a, but from a distance, it looks, looks a little sparkly. You know, it'll do, one-time use, no need to spend 10 bucks on, you know, a metal. I also want to add that sometimes you're not going to be able to find feathers in the colors that you need them or sometimes you're just going to be able to find white feathers cheaper and it's really easy to dye feathers. You can get feather dye from Joann's, Michael's or online and it's really easy to dye them. Okay, back to the tutorial. Next up is adding the feathers. The feathers are also left over from my collar. So I, I really, there's no rhyme or reason to these. I just, whatever I had left over, I just threw them on the leg piece in random places that I thought looked decent. Next, I glued two pieces of string to the back of the frame. But, you know, if you're feeling fancy, go, shit, add three. Then I covered the back with a piece of foam. I was wearing boots. I really didn't need the foam, but I was making a pair for friends. And I wasn't sure if they were wearing boots or sneakers and I didn't want it to scratch their leg. And now to start the process all over again, but this time a bit more practical since I'm not working with scrap material. And I just want to say that sometimes I work with hot glue, other times I work with tacky glue. It really just depends on whether I'm feeling lazy and whether I feel like getting my fingertips burned off when I'm working. And voila, there you go, the finished product. I hope you liked it. I hope the 
tutorial was informative and gave you all the information you need, feel free to message me as always if you have any questions about.